A landmark in St. Augustine is meeting the wrecking ball starting this week. The former Santa Maria restaurant is starting to come down and it has been a long time coming as this building has been vacant for five years now. Jessica Clark tonight reports on the memories of the old restaurant and how some locals say they're grateful to see it go. Oh, okay. So I am 56 and I've been coming here since I was probably three. Terry Bird's frequent visits to St. Augustine often included a meal at the Santa Maria restaurant right next to the Bridge of Lions. I remember eating fried shrimp as a child and feeding the fish. And that was like the biggest restaurant to go to. That was our like fancy restaurant when we came into town every year. No doubt that was in its glory days. For five years, the empty building has literally started falling apart and many locals want to see it gone. Joy Warren is one of them. She owns an inn across the street. And a lot of our rooms have water views and look out that way. It's, it was an eyesore. A trolley tour guide had this to say about the old restaurant. He told his passengers this building has had a soap opera of a story. The Santa Maria was a thriving restaurant in the tourist district starting around the 1960s. It went downhill over the decades. It was courted by a former Philadelphia 76ers president. It was criticized by the nearby pirate ship attraction and the new owners who bought the place in 2015 couldn't get the city to agree with its plans for a new restaurant. Add in a couple of hurricanes that knocked it around. The Santa Maria has had a tale for the high seas and now well now differences seem to be resolved and a demolition crew is at work and the new owners will build a similar looking restaurant in its place. After five years it's a miracle that it's finally going to happen. I think as long as they rebuild it it'll be awesome because the last few times I've been here I've been kind of sad to look at it. A farewell to yesteryear and a welcome to something new. In St. Augustine, Jessica Clark, First Coast News on your side.